Hello guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki, and this is going to be my loot from 500 Dagonoth Kings, all the drops that I got. Um, even though at the end I won't have exactly 500 Dagonoth Bones, I did do um, three trips all duo. The first trip I did not get anything, the second trip. There was quite a few drops. I showed both the drops that I got and my partners got as well, so it's not just my drops. Um, so you should be able to see some stuff, and there will be a price check at the end of all the loot that I received. Um, but you got to remember that the loot that the other people received was a bit more than mine because they got a bit luckier on the drops than I did. Um, but all in all, Dagonoth Kings are very good money if you duo. Um, I found I was making about an average of two mil an hour duoing um, if you bank all the bones, of course, with the yak and pick up all the drops and stuff. So um, you can make a fair amount of money duoing. Um, in total, I believe there is nine drops. Uh, I got three, um, and the other people that are doing that I was duoing with got six. Um, but overall, it was very, very fun. Uh, I had a blast. There's my first uh, drop right there, an archer's ring. I get one more drop um, later on in this trip, and my partner got quite a few as well. Um, so anyway, I have a total of, yeah, two rings and one hatchet, and uh, you'll see all the other loot that I got. I do pick up all the miscellaneous loot, like the uh, coal and mithril ore, and they drop a lot of just stuff that's worth quite a bit of money. Um, if you have a yak, you can make a lot of money here because um, all in all you get um, I would say in one trip you can get just as much from the bones as you can like from one of the lower valued rings like a warrior ring I believe though the warrior rings are about 900 K um, and if you stay for a good three hours you can make 900 K from the bones alone um, and even a little bit more from the hides as well if you bake some hides so overall it's very very worth it to have a yak here because it will help out your profits immensely um, you will make a lot more money with the yak than without one uh, but luckily I do have one but anyway uh, I have been doing three hour trips lately and I've found that it is um, a lot easier than I thought um, when EOC was initially released you know no one has really been to this boss very much um, I'm actually considering making a guide on this um, but at the same time it would kind of suck if a whole bunch of people start doing this boss. Um, of course you do have to duo it for it to be effective. If you try to solo you just get torn to pieces. Um, it's not very fun soloing. It is possible to solo but you need like absolute max gear. Um, otherwise it's it's just not very effective. Um, and of course you can trio it as well if you're like a lower level or something like that. But I found duoing is really good money. Uh, Two mil an hour is not something to sniff at as well as it it's fun, unlike uh, a lot of other bosses that are just not very fun to me at least. Um, I actually enjoy my time here, uh, which is just a huge added bonus. Um, and there's another warrior ring right there uh, that we did get um, back to back to back warrior rings. Um, well, I didn't get one of them, but uh, my partner did. So yeah, it was three warrior rings in a row, kind of weird. It kind of sucked because uh, warrior rings are the lowest valued ring. And Rex, of course, also dropped berserker rings and hatchets, which are both worth more than the warrior ring. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, three warrior rings in a row. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, I didn't see as many hatches as I'm used to. Um, in the past, I have gotten more hatchets than rings, uh, and they're supposed to be more common. There is my dragon hatchet that I did got, that I got. Uh, but yeah, from roughly like um, six or seven hours of killing DKs, it was about six hours total, uh, all three trips combined. Uh, the first one was like one hour. Um, the second one was three hours, and the third one was two hours. So yeah, it was it was about six hours all told. Um, and yeah, only one hatchet from six hours for me at least. Uh, that was a bit odd because yeah, in the past I've always gotten more hatchets than rings. Um, I do have a bit of a drop log composed of everything that I've gotten since the EOC. Uh, and since the EOC released, I have gotten I think nine hatchets and I want to say eight rings. I believe it's eight rings. I don't have it right in front of me right now. But anyway, yeah, hatchets are supposed to be more common, and which is a good thing because at the moment hatchets are worth a ton because of the, the latest tool belt update, which means that uh, you can now put hatchets in your tool belt, and when you do, they are removed from the economy, uh, which I think was a really, really good idea, very much increasing the value of hatchets. It's, and, uh, of course, there's just not a whole lot of people who have been doing Dagonoth Kings lately, um, just because I think people have some misconceptions that it's like a hard boss. Of course, before the evolution of combat, you could just come here and solo away uh, and make some really good money, but uh, now that's not re no longer really a viable option. But, of course, it's not too difficult to um, to find a partner for Dagonoth Kings. So um, if you do find a partner, um, I have had a lot of people come in my friends chat and been asking uh, if you want to go Dagonoth Kings. So that is always an option, of course. Um, you can come into my friends chat and there's more than likely a PVMer in there who is uh, glad to go. Um, 
during the three-hour trip that I did make, uh, there's my Sears ring. I believe that that's my last drop, so I got three drops total. Um, you've seen all three of them now. But yeah, during the three-hour trip, uh, I did not use any food as long as I was overloaded. Uh, once I ran out of overloads and I was doing unoverloaded, you do get hit quite a bit harder, so I used a couple of sharks. But um, yeah, if you bring enough overloads for three hours and you know what you're doing and you have decent enough gear, uh, food is not even needed. Uh, you can survive just off of soul-splitting the wrecks um, as well as using the ability Guthix is a blessing once every couple of minutes, uh, and that provides all the healing that you need. So anyway, uh, yeah, that was the last drop there. My friend got a dragon hatchet. Uh, that was the only drop he got during the trip. Unfortunately, we made a two-hour trip, and it was only two drops, which is a little bit unlucky for Dagonoth Kings. It's a little bit dry since drops are just so common there. But uh, anywhere, anyway, here is the price check. So as you can see, in six hours of Dagonoth Kings, um, roughly 500 Dagonoth Kings killed. I have 360 bones, but I know for a fact I got a little bit more bones than both my partners did because I had higher LSP pretty much um, the majority of the time. So um, it was more closer to 480 kills, but I did not want to make another trip here, so we're just going to round it up to 500 since I don't know the exact number, and I know it was pretty darn close to 500 kills. Um, so if, as you can see here, it's a 11.9 mil, and I did leave out a few items. I left out um, dragon daggers and left out a few other items as well just because I had lots of them in my bank, and I didn't remember exactly how many I had, a few ores and stuff as well as that. So um, all in all, it's right about 12 mil from 6 hours of Dagonoth King, so just about 2 mil an hour. Of course, you can make a lot more if you get more lucky. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and farewell.